The day we met was a fateful one for me. Ever since, I've kept watch for things that just don't happen in real life. Whatever do you mean by that? Until I met you, I led exactly the kind of life you'd expect. I'd fantasize about things that might happen in stories, but I knew it was just a fantasy. But the day I met you was the day I found myself living in a fairy tale instead. And if it could be true for that one day, why couldn't it be true all the time? You certainly have bravery enough to be a fairy tale heroine, Chloe. Oh, Princess Saline, you don't have to flatter me. <laughs> it was no mere flattery, only the truth. But you were saying that our meeting started a new life for you? Yes. That day, I made up my mind to do whatever it took to become your knight. Why is that? Well, it seemed to me that becoming a knight was the only way for me to live my own life, rather than the one dictated by my parents. Or by my birth. That day was the turning point, when I began my training. I remember how startled I was to hear that you would be my retainer. <laughs> I bet. Now imagine how my family felt about it. It's no exaggeration to say that meeting you changed my life. Oh, Chloe, I could say the same for you. You are a precious friend and a thoroughly dependable retainer. It has been a joy to have you near. Thank you for your service, Chloe. I look forward to seeing the rest of the fairy tale that we weave together. Me too, Celine. Why, hello, Chloe. Fancy meeting you here. Hi there, Citrine. I'm just here picking up some lunch. You can only get it at this street stall, but the taste is worth the trip. It's my favorite. Really? If it's as delicious as you say, I'd like to try some for myself. Here, I'll treat you. Excuse me, sir. I'll take everything you have, please. The whole stock? Don't fret about the money. This way, if we have extra, we can share with the others. Thank you for wrapping all of that, sir. Here's a little more gold for your trouble. Huh? Are these? It's folk food. Salt pickled fish guts in this case. Oh, how, uh, charming. Oh, sorry. I love this stuff, but it might be too much for you to handle. No, no. One mustn't show prejudice toward food without trying it first. Here, Chloe, your portion. Wow, you're letting me have almost all of it. Thank you so much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have somewhere to be. Must be important. You look pretty serious all of a sudden. It is important. Well, to me it is. Take care. Will do. And thanks for treating me to a heaping helping of my favorite folk food. Hello again, Chloe. Is that folk food you're eating? Yep. This boiled frog is super good. You should try some. Ah, no thank you. I just had a rather large lunch. Ugh. Chloe, you came from money, didn't you? Yeah, my parents are nobles anyway. We have that in common. I am a noble as well. Related to the royal family, in fact. I have never wanted for anything. And yet... Hmm? Tell me, how did you become a retainer? Well, I took the knighthood exam, and then I passed, and then I got this job. Wonderful. That means you possess the skills required of a retainer. I don't know how it works where you're from, but you're a retainer for a royal family too. I became a retainer not by virtue alone, but due to my family connections. And that feels wrong to you? If it were only a matter of wounded pride, I would not feel troubled. But... My physical weakness could be a liability for His Highness, so I can't help but dwell on it. I see. Forgive me, but I must be going. I have somewhere to be once again. All right. It was nice chatting with you. See you around, Citrine. <gasps> no, this will not do. I must practice and strengthen myself. Only then can I protect those I care about. <sighs> Good shot! You are right on target! Chloe? What are you doing here? Are you lost? Nope. I know I shouldn't have, but I followed you to see what you were up to. Every time you have somewhere important to be, you come back covered in mud. Aha. Uh -huh. You were worried about me. I'm sorry. 
Don't be. Now I know what the big deal was. You were getting in some extra magic training. Yes, that's right. As I said, I became a retainer through filial connections. I lack the skill required. I do some extra training every day to make up for that deficit, to build my strength. I wasn't trying to keep these sessions a secret. I merely avoid drawing attention to them. I wish you'd just told me. Then I could have helped you out. You would do that? Sure I would. We're friends, aren't we? Thank you, Chloe. Besides, folk food tastes even better after a good bout of training. You'll see. <laughs> Is that right? Who knew there was a way to make fish guts taste even better?